what's up you guys yes this is sarah she's back for a third video yeah i think so we're not really sure we have been trying to grow out our nails since the craving of acrylics in that video yeah that mm -hmm. the craving of acrylics is sporadic yeah <laughs> see our nails are still recovering from said acrylics <laughs> at least mine are and they are ratchet <laughs> So we discovered this thing called dip powder, powder nails, like what is it, is that like an official thing? But anyway, the product I have, it literally says for professional use only. Ah. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> um, we have one, it's called Sterling, and me being the cheap person I am, I only bought two of the like 20 Seven. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I just have the base coat which is the actual adhesive it's the glue and then the top coat which makes it all nice and shiny and sealed um i made that decision based on watching nail career education's video and also christine's video i just hope it works <laughs> i mean obviously this is just like it's a trial process like we just kind of want to see how the product works and if it's worth it because at the nail salon it is so expensive and, but it's a good alternative for acrylics. Yeah, because it's lighter on your nails and it's less damaging. So I think if you can hear like this weather outside, sorry, <laughs> my nails are just are like mine are disgusting. Do you see this? Yeah, mine are disgusting too. All I like, I just like got it. I dug myself out of the grave. Like my nails are all peely looking. Like you can see the lump, like or like the crease, whatever from where the acrylics were. Okay, mine are just disgusting in general. <laughs> okay, my fingers are really dry. I just took off nail polish, so don't judge me. Ew, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, we're just gonna do it? You want me to do it first? Uh, yeah, like, let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh God. All right. They say be careful of the base like don't leave it open too long and stuff oh, because it's glue out. yeah oh it's like that oh my god it smells like glue like that intense nail glue gorilla glue for your nails and then you dip right away that's what i think I know, I know they said to like keep layering it, so, and that's part of how like the brush gets messed up a little. There's like, that's one of the steps is a brush cleaner. Like, who need that? Who need that? You're just gonna What is this? How much do you want me to record of this? Doesn't matter, we'll just do this one nail. Like it's not bad. It isn't. I feel like it's How many easier. coats are you gonna try and do? I'm gonna do one more because I kinda missed around like different areas, so Ooh, you a working camera woman. The only thing that I think will suck about this process, because we are professionals, is it's only going to cover what you get on. So if you miss a spot or you get it on your cuticle, guess where it's going? Because mm -hmm. I know in nail career educations, it was like she was just able to yeah it right off. immediately. Yeah, she needed a. Oh god, I don't have a cuticle pusher. This is actually a lot easier of a process than the acrylics. Because then the thing is, is that we are basing it off of Christine's thing, but like she also had a different brand than I do. As in Nail Career Education had, a, had the same brand as me. You 
Like, do you feel like it's so hard immediately? Like, <laughs> but I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it just feels like it. I feel like Sharpay Evans. <laughs> oh God. See, like, I thought it was gonna be holographic. Honestly, I think I'm only gonna do two. Then, yeah, I just missed a huge chunk. That's why I did three. Okay, I'm just doing two. Like, also, waste less product. So, this is. I feel going last. <laughs> I can definitely see how the brush can get dirty easily, though. Yeah, so wait, I think we should wait until. I can already tell. Like, look at the. She thick. <laughs> um, I think we should wait until like these We're nails done. are with this nail. All right, you keep going. Let's keep going with the process. We're literally gonna do one nail at a time. Well, no. What I was trying to say is, is we should wait and see how these like set. Um, and make sure we're doing it right. I think we are. I mean, since we don't have all the steps, what is there to do wrong? Like, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> I will say this, this is totally doable at home. Like, yeah. I mean, it's literally like painting your nails. Yeah. Except you're dipping it in something. Oh. I just want to know what all the fuss is about. And honestly, like, I'm not Why is it so expensive? That's yeah. what I want to know. It's pricier than gel, which gel is already expensive, in my opinion. Yeah. Depending where you go. Especially if you get a full manicure. But like I don't know, it's not as much as a disaster as the old. We all know. Flashback Friday. Uh, it's Friday. This is honestly fun. Like this is probably not that thrilling of a video, but it's probably gonna be like a shorter video. I'll just put my finger in it. Oh no, it's fine. It's because it's just it's a, dry. It's just a bunch of glitter. No, it's not dry. Dry. Mm. It's just sticky. I'm gonna use this and knock on it. Because this one's dry. Oh, it is? It's completely. Mm. Like, if you put that on top of it, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Ah! I think a good key here is turning your finger to the side, making sure you're getting every... Inch. Yeah. Everything that you're... <laughs> I feel like we should close our water bottles because what is in this? <clears throat> Girl, you're not gonna be able to pronounce it. Polythene. You better put it back. It's only a dip. Benza peroxide. That goes on pimples. What if you there was like glittery pimple cream? I would not want that on my pimple. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get my lip roller. <gasps> I got this tip from Christina. Although, it might help if I put on a fresh side of it. I'm just kind of lightly filing it. I'm not really pushing hard on it. Out of fear of me like shifting it around. But it seems to be smoothing it a little. My eyes are burning right now. Right. They wear goggles when you do it. They wear those little face cover things. I feel like if you do this, it kind of feels like you have acrylics on. Yeah, and then my nails look dry.
The reason why I washed it was because all that excess powder was right. getting stuck on it. So like, I don't know if I should keep adding these top coats to it. Making her thicker. So, okay, hi. Um, the camera stopped recording because it got angry that we were using it so long. So we just decided to go ahead and do our other hand. Um, and it's still doing this weird mattifying thing. And I've decided to experiment a little and instead of using her top coat, I'm just going to go ahead and after gluing everything on, I'm going to go ahead and just use a gel top coat and see how, if it like does anything. Just because it's weird. It's just weird. It's, I don't hate it though. No, no. I feel like if it was a color, it'd be different. You know, those color powders are different than these glitter powder yeah. colors things. I don't know, it's just, it's just a very strange thing in general. And then what are you gonna be doing? I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did with this hand and put the two coats of the top coat and then do the gel. Because mine haven't done a super matte, like only one nail in particular. But other than that, they're kind of okay. Um, they look like glitters, mine don't. They look weird. I think Although I did get up and wash my hands. Right. That's... I think it was like some science thing happening. Yeah. I'm cool. still curious to see how this gel does with it because then all I have to do is buy the base coat. Yeah. But no, I think there'll definitely will be a check-in probably like what? Should we do this time next week? Or should <clears> we do like I... in the next few days? Like whenever we can. I, should, I think a week, up to a week and a half because you go in a salon, you get this. It's supposed to last max two weeks. Cause if we're think if we're thinking about it, I might think about it more than you are gonna. But like, if you want, we can film on our phones and be like, so far today has been good. They're still clumpy. I mean, you can do that with mine, like whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you like, we're in a class together. If you think about, it, we're gonna be together anyway. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Enter check in now. Yeah. Hey, what's up everyone? So it's time for an update on <laughs> these dip powders. Okay, so, <sighs> all right, I have the first set. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. Um, I'm doing this update by myself, by the way, because Sarah's out of town and I, I just need to get this done. <laughs> um, so I kept all the peelies to prove to you that this is the first set of the dip powder nails that we did. I did a second set of them, which I am wearing on one hand right now. The other hand I nervously bit off because I'm in a stressful class right now and I was just like, <laughs> but anyway. Um, so what happened with these is that, like, Sarah had the same issue, it, they just popped off. It wasn't like they popped off a day after or anything. It was like they were slowly coming up and you know that thing with like acrylics how like it gets stuck in your hair when you need to go get a filler you know like how like you go you, you, everyone who knows has that issue knows what I'm saying but anyway so we could tell they were kind of coming up a little bit and so that's when like you start biting at them and you start picking them off and that's what happened for us and let's see today is Friday when I'm filming this because I said I was gonna film my update on Friday um, so it was, so we did it exactly a week ago. We did it last Friday and they probably popped off, um, Tuesday or Wednesday. So it, it still lasted a good bit, but considering that we did it at home without buffing our nails, without, you know, doing the drilling and like, you know, the nail salon level stuff, I think, I still think it's worth it. Maybe not to you if it doesn't last the whole two weeks, maybe not, but Considering that nail salons, their prices for dip powder nails, realize these are not acrylics, dip powder nails. They're supposedly healthier for your nails. But anyway, these are like 45 to like 50, 40 dollars at a salon. And that's just for one set. The amount of money I put into the products that I bought was $30. Like, if you ask me, that's worth it. That's cheaper in that you have all the products so you can probably do 50 sets of these you know it's 
I don't know, this is worth it to me, and I really feel like I'm going to use these dip powders a lot. Um, I know they have colored ones, so the color formulas might be different than the glitter formulas. So maybe I can do a video on that. I mean, whatever. <laughs> like, I'm probably going to end up doing one or not. I don't know, but I know Sarah is still interested in them. I don't know if she knows, if, I mean, if she knows. I don't know if she thinks that they're worth it or not. I know I can speak for me right now, <laughs> it's worth it to me. And I really think I'm gonna end up buying a color color, not like a glitter. Like I bought this one because it was the cheapest one. Um, you can get these on Amazon, by the way. I bought everything on Amazon. I can link it all down below if you'd like. Um, but yeah, I like it because I have such weak nails and getting acrylics just make them even weaker. Sometimes when I get acrylics, it, whenever they drill my nail, my nail just gets thinner. So it's like the flesh underneath my nail starts to like, you know, become really sensitive, like the nail bed itself. It's like it becomes really thin and it's like you touch it and it hurts. And it's just so, acrylics were not worth it to me anymore because they were becoming painful to get. So like I had to let my nails grow out and you saw our nails and <laughs> they were still in the middle of growing out from the acrylic thing. So, I mean, that's a standard thing, but it, it's just, acrylics are too expensive for me at this point, and they hurt. And this, like, these are really fast to do. It was only, like, a long time because me and Sarah were sharing the same products, so it, it took a little longer. But doing my second set, which are on my nails, um, it didn't take any time. Like, it was just, like... Do, 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 do. Like, and then also another thing to consider is that we only did two coats of it. Maybe if we did three coats, it'd be a little different. I don't know. There's still some playing room with it. But one thing I didn't want to do was go to a salon just to have them drill my nail again. Because like I said before, my nails are very thin and they become very sensitive whenever they're drilled. And I didn't want that and getting these at the salon that's what would happen and so I think it's just worth it to me to like reapply them at home you know every week it's just worth it and maybe not nervously bite them off but yeah as of right now I'm wearing just normal nail polish <laughs> and yeah so we hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe bye